days after the storms, we are finally catching up on some of the cleanups on our city streets and sidewalks. Good evening, I'm Jessica Gill. And I'm Joe Chiotto. Happening locally live at 5, the streets after the few days of snow, those are finally starting to look better. What's more hit or miss, though, are our sidewalks. Aaron Murray spent the day with someone who relies on the walkways and for us to do our part in keeping them clear. To walk a mile in someone's shoes in this weather? Just hope it's not your postal worker. If I fall, you must edit that out. Street to sidewalk, sidewalk to street. Lisa Mason has been delivering mail for 20 years and knows the ins and outs. I mean, I cut through that yard, but with that tree being uprooted, I don't know where the hole is. And the ups and downs. See, he knows that his porch is slick, so he puts his mailbox down. Snow and unshoveled sidewalks, like ankle biting dogs. <laughs> Nice. are no friend to the postal worker. It's the responsibility of the homeowner to clean the sidewalks. And it's my responsibility to decide if your sidewalk's not cleared, whether you get mail that day or not. It's her safety. Mason tells us the last two days, this sand wasn't there. So this house didn't get their mail. So to the swishy march of her snow pants, Mason travels house to house, mailbox to mailbox. How often are you having to step out into the street because the sidewalks aren't clear? At least two or three times for each split. And a split is usually two or three blocks long. Because if the sidewalk's not safe, then you gotta go out in the street. And generally the street's a little bit safer. But it isn't though. I mean, cars come down the street, isn't it scary? <laughs> it is, but it's part of the job. It's taken a day or two, but Alex Kugler is finally getting out his shovel to help Mason. Well, I know they can hurt themselves if it's icy, so I... <laughs> I try my best when I can shovel. Even with the added obstacles, Mason is still happy. You just kind of have to finagle your foot in and go. What keeps her this way? Let's call them Gold Star homeowners. Well, she's taking the time to not only shovel her sidewalk, but to shovel me a shortcut through the yard. These are the customers you love. Those that get what it takes to walk a mile in her shoes. Joe, Jessica, we're here on a pedestrian overpass. Now, this is the city's responsibility, and as you can see, it looks pretty good. But in residential areas, Mason tells me it's not the elderly that aren't doing their part. It's my own generations, those in their 20s. So, 20-somethings, you and I need to pick up a shovel. We need to do our part. Reporting here live with photojournalist Alex Hassel, Aaron Murray, WOWT, 6 News. Listen to her giving orders out, work. everyone. Yeah. All right, but well, we can get fined if we don't clear our sidewalks within 24 hours. If you know of an uncleared sidewalk anywhere near a school, pedestrian bridge, or other city area, go to WOWT.com to find out how to report it. So the best part, maybe the only good thing about the bitter cold, is that when it does get back up to 20 and 30, it almost feels warm it outside. It feels really good. <laughs> I was thinking that when I walked outside today, how warm it felt.